it is hard to predict what the electric automotive future holds for us. But we can say one thing for sure. Never again will the car designs be boring. To prove this statement, today we'll cover the latest EV news and showcase the most prominent newcomers that not only have revolutionary propulsion systems, but also radical inside outlooks. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and you will be informed about every single new electric car for the upcoming 2021 and 2022 model years. Enjoy the ride! Mercedes-Benz EQS Despite its late arrival to the party of luxury electric saloons, the new flagship of the Mercedes EQ brand is showing how it's really done. The king abandons its restrained forms in favor of the new left-back aerodynamic body with the lowest drag coefficient for a production vehicle, just 0.2. The S-Class of electric cars will be sold in two versions, a rear-wheel drive EQS 450+, and a dual-motor all-wheel drive EQS 584-matic. Their systems will output 329 and 516 horsepower. The battery has 400 volt architecture and the maximum capacity of 107.8 kWh, which is sufficient for 478 WLTP miles. The executive comfort is ensured by all wheel steering, adaptive air suspension, and Burmester 3D sound system. Moreover, this is the first Mercedes to adopt the 56 inch hyper screen which consists of three OLED displays covered with a solid-piece Gorilla Glass. Alpha Wolf Plus The company's first all-electric pickup was revealed just this March, but the brand already has a new, extended cab version. Labeled the Plus, it seats four and grows in size across all dimensions. The length adds 15 inches, while the width and height increase by 3 and 2 inches respectively. The rear doors open in a suicide fashion, while the bed offers 40 cubic feet of storage and gets a unique 40-inch extension hitch. Design-wise, the Plus follows the same retro vibe as other Alpha models. There are rounded LED headlamps, metal bumper protection with auxiliary lights, and a large roof rack with an integrated light bar. On the EV front, the truck will offer single and dual-motor drivetrains with a rear or all-wheel drive and up to 275 miles of driving. The max towing is set to be increased twofold to 6,724 pounds. Audi A6 e-tron Like most automakers, Audi is rapidly pushing out AC abundance from its upcoming vehicle lineup. Meet the all-electric A6 concept that is rumored to be almost identical to the series version debuting in early 2023. Underpinned by the new PPE platform co-developed with Porsche, the A6 e-tron boasts sportback styling with futuristic enclosed single-frame grille, big wheel arches, shaved doors, and huge 22-inch wheels. The tech-savvy digital matrix LED headlights incorporate new technologies like customizable designs for DRLs and projected turn signals for added pedestrian warning. On the performance front, the e-tron concept gets two electric motors, producing a total of 476 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. Plus, there is a standard 100 kWh battery, good for over 400 miles of range. In case you find an 800V compatible station, expect to charge from 0 to 80% in just 25 minutes. Cadillac Lyric It seems that General Motors are actually dedicated to their electrification offensive, because the company's first all-electric SUV is now scheduled to start pre-orders this September, exactly a year after it was revealed as a concept vehicle. The Lyric rides on a specially developed LTM platform in a single-motor rear-wheel drive specification. The permanent magnet unit outputs 340 horses and 325 pound-feet, and it is fed by the GM's new battery pack. Confirmed to offer over 300 miles of range, the Lyric's battery has 100 kWh capacity, comes with industry-leading 19.2 kW charging module for home, and offers rapid charging at 190 kW. Being a caddy, this five-seater is expected to offer a quiet ride, plush seating, a state-of-the-art augmented reality head-up display, an enormous 33-inch diagonal screen, and an AKG 19-speaker audio. It is also promised to get GM's Super Cruise Level 3, 
with ice off driving autonomy. The electric revolution won't succeed on its own, so smash the like button and share this video with your friends. More electrified content is coming your way. Let's proceed. Draco GTE Established in 2013, the California native Draco has made its name with the GTE All Electric Super Sedan. Offered in regular and track editions, the model has a very classic, attractive exterior, offers seating for four people, and packs lots of high end equipment, including a four way adjustable L and suspension, carbon ceramic Brembo brakes, and Michelin tires. However, the GTE's most impressive feature is its drivetrain. The system consists of four and wheel electric motors that generate 1200 horsepower of output and 6490 pound feet of wheel torque. The motors power each wheel individually and use a proprietary Draco Drive OS that enables torque vectoring. They ensure superior drivability and handling in challenging performance situations, while at the same time being able to propel the car to 206 miles per hour. Beltois BT01 Developed by race car driver Julien Beltois in partnership with Spark Racing Technology, this model is the company's first sustainable GT circuit car. It is powered by an electric drivetrain, making 394 horses and 317 pound-feet of torque. The current battery pack has 46 kWh capacity, but Beltois says that it will have flexible autonomy. For now, the test prototype can race for just 25 minutes, while its total day autonomy reaches 3 hours. In addition to competing in GT races, the model is expected to be used in pilot training. For this reason, the company plans to offer lots of customization options for the car, so each driver could have a truly personalized experience. Finally, the onboard software will collect your performance and energy consumption to make sure that you can understand the car's potential and make the most of it. Genesis X and G80 Electric 2021 is a fundamental year in the history of Genesis since the company reveals its first electric vehicles, a production-ready sedan and a concept Grand Tour. Both models have debuted at the Shanghai Auto Show this April. They share the same design language with the two-lane LED headlights and taillights, crest grille and matrix patterns. The electrified G80 is based on the IC model, but it borrows some tech from the Hyundai's new eGMP platform. For example, its battery pack is compatible with 400 and 800 volts rapid chargers, allowing to minimize energy recuperation time. It also offers 200 plus miles and uses a dual motor system that can switch from powering all four to just two rear wheels. As for the specifications for the X concept, they remain undisclosed, but we do know that it focuses on handling and road dynamics and gets a very driver oriented cabin. Zeker 001 This V was first presented as a Lincoln Co concept, but the actual production unit arrives under Geely's all new dedicated battery electric brand, Zeker. This is the world's first mass market electric shooting brake, designed with a mandate of no more boring EVs. Hence, a brave front fascia, full width LED taillight, and a Porsche Panamera profile. The Chinese have developed a new CEA platform, which incorporates a 100 kWh battery and motors for the front and rear axles. The disclosed numbers are quite impressive. 400 miles of range rechargeable at 360 kW, 536 horsepower, and 516 pound-feet. This would propel the Zeker 001 to 60 in 3.8 seconds. The cabin has a large central screen infotainment, a digital dashboard, leather interior, and up to 2,144 liters of cargo volume. Xpeng P5 The third production model of the rising Chinese automaker Xiaopeng Motors, aka Xpeng, is a family-friendly battery electric compact sedan that goes big on the autonomous driving tech. Unlike Tesla's autopilot, that relies solely on cameras, this CV puts to work a broad array of sensors. The new architecture of the X-Pilot 3.5 utilizes 12 ultrasonic sensors, 5mm wave radars, 
13 high-definition cameras, one high-precision positioning unit, and at the forefront, two automotive-grade lighters. The latter double prism units can distinguish nearly all participants of the road traffic, which extends the autonomous operation of the X-Bank P5 from highways to city streets. EV parameters of the sedan are still undisclosed, but it does boast a three times more powerful computing system and X-Smart OS 3.0 with superior voice recognition. MG Cyberster Owned by the Chinese SAIC Group, MG is often reprimanded for forgetting about their sports car roots. Today the brand is trying to rehabilitate itself, and the first step in this direction is the MG Cyberster concept that harkens back to the MG's original roadsters. The model gets a long, low silhouette with a swooping bonnet, pop-up headlights, and an LED light strip that runs on sides of the car. The taillights have union jack signatures plus the rest supercar-style naceless behind the passengers. The cabin houses a gamepad-style steering wheel and two zero-gravity seats that are separated by a flowing central console. Finally, this MG gets an all-electric drivetrain with up to 500 miles range and 3 seconds 0 to 60. Opel Manta GSE Electromat Attempting to popularize their latest electric crossover Mach E, Apple reimagined its classic sports coupe. The retrofit began with a 1970 Manta A that was gutted and its four-cylinder gasoline engine was replaced with a powerful electric motor. The iconic black bonnet of the Manta is additionally highlighted with a matching visor LED grille with running lights that can display messages. Now is a perfect time to leave a comment below the video sharing your personal thoughts about the newly presented EVs. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to Automotive Territory, and proceed to exploring electric car news of the upcoming 2021 and 2022 model years by following the links on the screen. May the torque be with you!